15 years ago, I was really big in the computer flight simulator games. And now, with the virtual reality glasses that are supposed to come on the market here shortly, I'm wondering if it's really going to be an exciting thing to get back into, or do you think it's overrated? Flight simulators or VR flight simulators? Uh, VR flight simulators. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's overrated, um, but don't over uh, hype it either. I mean, it's not. So, um, when you when you played with your flight simulator, did you have multiple screens? I did. I had uh, three screens, yep. and uh, you know, but it only went so far about the immersion into the cockpit. Well, that, that's the I. So the reason you had three screens, and a lot of people were very serious about it, flight sims do. And so you could look to the left, and you'd look out the left window. You'd look to the right, you'd look out the right window. You'd look ahead, you'd look out the yeah. front. You'd press a key and look out the back. Well, imagine now you put on the VR helmet, and you look to the left, you're looking out the left window, the right window. You turn around, you're looking out the back window. Uh, you can. It's much more realistic. Now, the screen resolution, this is the negative. The screen resolution is lower because, first of all, it's 1080p. Second, you're closer to it, right? So okay. it's not going to be a super high-res screen. That's how they keep the frame refresh up. And, and frankly, because you're closer to it, if you look, you can see the pixels. You'll see what they call the screen door effect, you know, where you can see the dots and the lines uh -huh. in between them. But it's so immersive, it's so real, you quickly forget that. Okay, so, so you've actually... Um, I, have the, uh, I have the Oculus Rift. Oh, and I'm looking to get the, I ordered the HTC Vive. It should be coming in any day now. And of course, I'll, uh, uh, by the way, this is my job. I'm not, <laughs> I have a budget for this kind of stuff. I, if it were just me, I might, I might be waiting for the PlayStation 4 that they're going to do theirs later this year. Most agree that the Vive is the best. I would first look and see which Sims are available on each platform. I would best, because the Vive is a deal with uh, Steam. So I think there are more games on the Steam VR store than anywhere else. Um, so I would take a look at, although if you look at War Thunder, you'll see that uh, this is a simulator. In fact, uh, somebody in the chat rooms put a YouTube link up, a simulator that includes all the controls. Uh, you know, you're really, you know, you're really getting a complete experience of flying. I, I would guess, yeah, it looks like an old uh, World War II uh, plane, um, okay. prop, a prop plane. So what did you like to fly? Did you like to fly jets? What did you fly when you played? Well, mostly a uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator and a thing called Strike Eagle F-15 by uh, Microprose, Strike Eagle 3. This is, I have to say, I mean, because it is a, uh, a, a World War II vintage plane, I mean, the, you know, the, the controls are not as exactly as fancy. But look at that video because it is very very realistic and uh it's probably as close i mean let me put it this way when i put the oculus rift on and i stand on the edge of a building i get a little bit uh, a little bit queasy like i could fall off it's that realistic okay. you quickly forget the lower res now you will be spending a lot of money to do this probably at least fifteen hundred dollars because your pc is undoubtedly not powerful enough you need to have a very high-end graphics card in there a 970 or better and then you're going to buy the the VR gear itself. That's six hundred bucks. Now, the Oculus does not yet have the hand controls, but that's okay because if you're doing a flight simulator, you probably have a yoke or something like that anyway, right? Exactly. Yeah. So that's that's not as much of a negative. It is for other games. The Vive does have hand controls. Um, I have to say, this is a pretty impressive uh, simulator I'm looking at. I have not tried flight sims, but I even if I you know had I I was never a flight sim guy, so. I don't know how it would be. I think people who are really into flight sims are pretty excited about the potential that these uh, VR helmets represent. So okay, you, sp you spent a lot of money in the old days on the three-screen yeah. setup? Yeah. yeah you did. were serious about it? Yeah, now, generally speaking, if you're going to play games, would you use the VR headset as opposed to just a computer monitor? Yeah, not for all games. Um, not for all. Okay. But there is something magical about being immersed in a game. And movies, too. I, uh, I, it is not hype. I guess that's the question you're asking me. Is it hype? It is not hype. Yeah. It is awesome. Okay, so it is very, very realistic. It is a, it's an amazing experience. 
Uh, it's expensive. It's early days. It will get better. Might be worth waiting. But uh, you don't sound like the type to wait. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.